Alrighty guys, what is up? And welcome to the fourth episode. Oh my gosh, this freaking headphone. Sorry about that. The fourth episode of Back to the Future the Game on the Xbox One here on the Domination Channel. In the last episode, uh, a lot of things happened. We started the video in the 1930s as the video before it. We were in the 1980s and we had to go back because we figured out when Doc was cat. uh... Not captured, but what the heck did I just click? No! Sorry about that. I'm just trying to get adjusted to everything. Where Doc is being held because he's been accused of blowing up a speakeasy, which I actually asked my parents, and apparently a speakeasy is a place where they sold outlawed alcohol in the 30s. And apparently people made it in their bathtubs. Okay, let's, that's weird. Okay, here we go, guys. And I, I, I know that this video is coming out on Thursday, and I was aware of this happening. Uh, but so, but this video is being recorded on Tuesday. It's something pretty... If you haven't heard the news, something pretty depressing actually happened today. Carrie Fisher, who you might know as the lady who plays Princess Leia in Star Wars, died this morning. Of heart failure, I think it was. And that was pretty sad to hear. The second... Star Wars actor slash actress to die in 2016 after Kenny Baker. Okay, here we go. Courthouse doors. We gotta go meet the young doc. Whoa! Don't touch those. These are very sensitive. Also, this video is gonna be about 30 minutes long. Handle them, but sworn officers of the court. Papa, I mean Judge Brown says so. Okay then. Judge Brown. Doc. Uh. Nice to meet you. I'm, um, uh, Sonny Crockett. Emmett Brown, but I am a law clerk, not a doctor. Since when did this happen? My way. I have important business to transact. Naturally, a multiply by the inversion of age has to come out less than expectation value. So that was the big news I wanted to say, is that I am aware of that happening. And, um... Leave in the comments, how do you feel about that? That was pretty shocking. She had a heart attack Listen, Friday on a plane. Me, but I'm your friend. So, and then it was confirmed at 855 this morning she work. died at 60. What's this important business you're up to? It's a legal matter. Very complicated, very abstruse. I need to obtain five sets of initials on every copy of this writ of indemnification before Pop... I mean, before Judge Brown can even think of granting a waiver to the party of the first part. You have no idea what it's about, do you? That's how important it is. Wow. Come on, Doc. Uh, damn it. Uh, drop the Legal Eagle Act. I got something more important for you to do. Mm -hmm. Mr. Crockett, I'll have you know that the law is the very mortar that holds society together. And we in the legal profession are like brick masons building the edifice of the future. Does your father Does tell you that tell every you morning? That? Every morning. <laughs> so, Emmett, what time are you through with work? Depends. On weeknights, Pop sometimes keeps me in the office till 9. Nine at night, but today's Saturday. Right, so I probably won't get off before ten. How about you knock off work early and I'll buy you a beer, uh, or soda. What do you say? Don't try to tempt me from my duty with sugary beverages. Keeping the wheels of justice turning, that's my one passion in life. Besides, if I left More like eight, my force passage. Hashtag he has some daddy issues. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. He tells seen. you that every morning also, doesn't he? Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. Listen, I understand you're working on a new invention in your lab. Invention? Yeah, it's kind of like a rocket power else, drill. I'm in law. I have absolutely no interest in science. Times acceleration, of course. That's new. Come on, wait up a minute. You again? Can't you see I'm busy? Okay, so you don't want your old man to know. That's fine. Listen, we all keep secrets. I have some but secrets that I don't you. You tell any of you, and that's not for project of yours. It has nothing to do with you. It's just scientist. hashtag. We all have personal ahead. lives. Ask me what e equals? What does e equal? I have absolutely no idea. See? I don't know where you got your information from about me, mister, but you're wrong, wrong, wrong! Will you just give me a chance? 
Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Crockett. Come on, you could trust me, Doc. Uh, Emmett, it's your future I'm looking out for. In more ways than one. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you and science. Oh, that word again! If There's nothing wrong with the, the word science. science. I'll sue you for defamation of character! I better not. Those lawyers sound kind of nasty. So what do I do? Wait for him? Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Crockett. Emmett, uh, about Don't your say it. Or do we take H to stand for the Hermitian line? Oh my gosh, these controls are wonky. So let's just see what else. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal I'm sorry, crime, you... Mr. Crockett. See, I'm sort of in the science business myself. That's why I sought you out. Mm -hmm. Not that I care in the least, because science is the furthest thing from my own area of interest, which is law, but I don't believe you. It's true. I'm a scientist. So tell me something, Mr. Scientist, from your vast storehouse of science. Okay, bring knowledge. it. I did pretty well in science class. Uh, the leg bones connected to the thigh bone? We're screwed Amazing. for life. Amazing. Emmett, uh, about Don't your... say it. I have an idea. Okay, fine. I might have watched him do the first episode, so I kind of know... No, no, no. Where's the other button? X. We need... Nah. Now if H I don't think so. One dimensional harmonic oscillator, then naturally H two A multiplied by the inversion of H has to come out less than expectation value of A, right? Not the what? What am I missing here? Or do we take H to stand for Hermitian line operator? H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A minus Will you just give me a chance? No, this is not what I want. A federal crime, no, Mr. how do Crockett? I use... Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. Do the only I skip people this? scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. Emmett, uh, about don't your... Don't say it. How do I use this tape recorder? Watch. Yeah. Equals mass times acceleration. Of course, that's new. But how many Newton's are you going to talk to that? Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I, oh. Do you even know what that is? No, no you don't. So you can't be mad at me. So now I feel like we need to talk to the older doc. Because maybe because we're talking to a younger... Oh my gosh. I'm really sorry about these controls. They are so wonky. You know, Zach Scott said I would watch his videos, how bad the controls were, I never realized. I mean, this game is six years old, but come on. So, Doc, does this ring a bell? Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I Good know. grief! Is that me? Unfortunately so, Doc. So young? I was gonna say intense. I forgot how wound up I used to get. Yeah, but what are you muttering about? Oh, that's easy. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Won't giving him the answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic about illusion. About ten minutes into the video. The play of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional membrane. So it'll be fine. 
What was H again? The Hamiltonian Opry. Hamiltonian Opry. Wait, what happened to it? What was H again? The Hamiltonian Operator. Got it. All right. I just I didn't know what happens if you would say his name. Ask him again. Is there like a way to run faster? So yeah, this video is going to be the longest video. I've done the math. There's going to be about seven videos in this. If I do, if I did the math right. Oh, think, Emmett. No. Think. H to the A multiplied no, by I the don't. I don't want this. Inverse of A, H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A, I, oh. No, now I don't want to use it and I'm using it. Let me just... Acceleration course, that's Newton. Brown Estate, Klondike 51038. What I meant to do. Can I just talk to you? Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Crockett. Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Ah! What did you just say? H equals Hamiltonian H operator. H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Yeah. Great Scott! If H is the Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A. <laughs> That's it! That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week! Good lord. I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Where did you learn so much about science? I'm for the planet well, It's like this. You know about my rocket power drill? Then there can only be one explanation. And that is? What? You're from the patent office. Oh, yes! Yes, I, I am! I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Welcome! I'm at your service. What can I do for you? Can I see your rocket power drill? Mm -hmm. Of course, of course. Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning. Now nah, that's no good. I need to see a full-size model. <gasps> That's fully operational. <gasps> Tonight. Yep. Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. It can't be done. I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel. I'll get it for you. What, what is, is it? 190 proof grain alcohol. What the heck? You know how difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these And that's days. what I said about Especially the speakeasy. That they made the illegal alcohol. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. Part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Oh, crap. Is it vitally important you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes. Listen, I'll help you deliver it, and I'll see to what you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? Deal. Here's the subpoena. Who did we give it to? Arthur McFly? I've got a subpoena my grandpa. <gasps> Shh. It's Kid Tannen. Hey, Ooh. I just saw him at the soup kitchen yelling at Hello, Arthur young McFly. friend. I'm not surprised. Talk Emmett into business. completing the rocket business? drill. That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's go talk to him. No. Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. And that is what? English, please. Da uh, Mr. Brown. There's Edna. I don't know what she's doing here. See so, yeah, a boom. Now we gotta worry about. So I think this is Biff's father. So we're about halfway through the video. That is not bad timing. If I... what the hell matches? You you got kiwi all over my socks. I don't even Sorry, see kiwi boss. on your socks. Get out of here. How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? Oh! Uh... I guess I'm here. I guess I'm here to shine your shoes. I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. And he's very busy today. Since you're Arthur's is. boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh... Office. Well, where's the office? I forget. So when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. This guy hey, is such a mob spot. boss Al Capone. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? 
It was McFly's hat. Now it's my peanut bowl. Peanut <laughs> bowl. Could I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh, shoe shine boy? Hanging on to my peanut bowl. Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. This is a hey kid. Yeah. What the hell is that? Oh, hey. like in the movies. Awesome. What did you do? Awesome. He's like, what the frick is that? Punches him in the face. Never gets old. You lousy crook! Emmett! Nice! Emmett! Oh, they got stopped by the tram! Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen! What was that? Ow! Fix me up! Aw, oh, nice! Where'd you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out! So wait, where do we go now? I better not. Those lawyers sound I didn't know. If, I, I was surprised we went in there because that's not what Zack Scott did. Interesting. Uh, where do we go now? Oh, we got to go to Aini. That's smart thinking. Uh, we have about 11 minutes left. Or, 12 minutes. Sorry, I'm just... My iPad keeps fall going to sleep, and I'm really annoyed by it, but... Yeah, we gotta use Einstein. Also, fun fact. Apparently, he named one of his earlier dogs Copernicus, which is apparently a constellation. I didn't know that. So that's a fun Back to the Future fact. You have to deliver a lot of subpoenas. Father's always sending me out to do these dirty jobs. He wants to expose me to different kinds of people. And all he's exposed me to is a lot of new curse words. If serving subpoenas is such dirty work, why don't you just say no? Look, what's the worst thing that can happen to me on this job? You could get shot. Yeah, well, believe me, that's nothing compared to what I'll get if I mouth off to my pop. Any idea where we could find Artie? Not a jot. If only we had a way of tracking him. This subpoena's for Arthur McFly? Have you seen him? For a few seconds in the soup kitchen, but I think he's gone back into hiding. Brilliant deduction, Einstein. Get it? What do you know about Arthur McFly? Certified accountant. Graduated Hill Valley five classes ahead of me. Seems like a nice fellow, actually. How did he get mixed up with a guy like Kid Tannen? Who knows? Sometimes people find themselves stuck in situations they can't get out of. How about Kid Tannen? What do we know about him? He's loud, he's obnoxious, he's not very bright, and he doesn't like anybody getting in his way. Yep, that's a Tannen, all right. This might be a stupid question, but couldn't you have designed your rocket-powered drill to run on fuel that, you know... Yeah, illegal? that would be a smarter idea, I think. Illegal? What does law have to do with science? Science has its own laws. You of all people should know that. But couldn't you tweak your engine design a little so it runs on something else? Like what? I don't know. Gas, maybe? Gasoline? <laughs> Yesterday's news. You'll see. By 1940, automobiles will all run on pure alcohol. No. 
Some of us down at the patent office are wondering, what made you think of a rocket-powered drill? Mm -hmm. Ah, that'd be Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. Oh my because gosh, and then another fun fact that I didn't realize, yeah, at the end of Back to the Future Part 3, um, Claire and Doc named their kids Jules and Vern, because of Jules Verne. Have you read The Time Machine? H.G. Wells? Not yet, but it's on my list. We'll get that subpoena delivered, or my name isn't... Sonny Crockett! Yeah. He's gonna see if Marty McFly. <laughs> Let's go talk to Ed Edna Strickland. Nice, Spike. Huffy? H Huffy? I'm not Huffy. I'm passionate. Passionate about justice, safety, law, and order. Uh, n never mind. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Crockett. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. What's, What's the, the scoop? scoop? Get it? What ice cream flavor scoop? Ha! The Sisters of Mercy Soup Kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. Did you finish the story you interviewed me for? About Carl Sagan? Mm -hmm. Yes, but those pig-headed editors at the paper rejected it. They said my story was slanted, and that I was glorifying a suspected arsonist. As if their stories aren't always glorifying the criminal vermin that run this town. Yep. This whole thing makes me so mad I could spit. Though of course I never would. There's an ordinance against it, and it's so untidy. You make you soup make deliveries? Soup deliveries. It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls. Or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. I can help, yeah, deliver, I can help soup. deliver soup. But I don't need a lot of time to charities. Oh, which ones? The, um, Mario Brothers. Get it, Mario Brothers? Oh, like, yes. it's a me and Mario Brothers. Because so it... it it's 1986, it so and Super Mario Brothers, the, the original, came out now, in, the, in 1986. I just thought that was a funny I little Easter egg. Cycle in this town. That's a new model. You want some soup? It's got but some Koopa Troopas in it. Connected with the local charitable <laughs> institution. Leave a, leave, yeah. leave a comment if you thought that was funny. I thought that was funny that they put... On soup. As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh, who? The, the orphanage! orphanage. My, how those little ragamuffins can eat. Good. Now that she's busy... All right, Edna. Just think of all those poor unfortunates and hold your nose. Mr. Donnelly! Good, now that she's gone, we can worry about the subpoena for Mr. Arthur McFly as we have little time left. Now let's grab the hat. Hey, honey. Come here for a sec, boy. You've got five minutes. Hey, boy. Can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? <laughs> yeah, boy! I knows where to go. Where Only one way to find out. There's Doc, the old Doc in the background. And this will come towards. We're coming towards the end of the episode. Be serious. Where Edna Strickland will live. Uh. Oh. So this is kind of ironic because we were here in uh, actually two parts ago. Need any help? Um, never mind. Is yeah? there thing? Who is it? It's McFly. Shh, I know.
Hey, Arthur, can you come down a minute? Do I know you? We're family! Grand, uh, mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah. Glad to know you, but I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry. Sorry. Some other time. I just find it so weird how he says that. Sorry. I don't know. It's just really weird. I swear. There are some weird things in the way people speak. And hopefully you'll stay tuned for tomorrow's episode, part five. What now? What now? Well, it's time to talk to Mr. McFly. It's me again. Please come down. Why? I've got something I've got for you. I've got something for you. It's a sub uh, subscription to the Accountant Weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No, right. Ha <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry. Sorry. Some, Some other, other time. time. Hopefully the next episode will be a little longer. I might actually film the next episode right after this one. Just because I feel like it. It's one of those days. What now? What now? Well, it's me. Your grandpa. It's me again. Your... Please come down. Why? We're the you law, dang it. You don't want to go against the law, do you? No, but I don't want to go against Kid Tannen either. And he ordered me to stay put till he gives the word. Sorry. Sorry. Some, other, Some time. other time. Let's try one more thing, and then I'm going to have to figure out what the frick to do. What now? What now? This actor clearly didn't change. It's me again. Please come down. Why? We've got some important information for you, but we can't yell it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck up here till the boss tells me Sorry, I can leave. Sorry, not now. Sorry. Some other time. Well, guys, we're going to have to go back to Town Square and figure out... I know what we have to do, but for some reason, in our iteration and timeline... Because it's Back to the Future. It seems like it never happened. Well, guys, this will, we're going to come to the end of the fourth part of Back to the Future of the Game. And, uh... Oh. And we will have to pick up in the next episode. Uh, I think I'll do the next episode right after this one. As we are getting close towards the end of the video. We are right behind the place police station. Which, apparently, was... 1891. So, 19... 1901. So it was established 41 years prior to to the date we are in the video, which is pretty cool. If you liked that we continued Back to the Future of the Game, please leave a like. If you want to see more Back to the Future of the Game, as well as two other Telltale games I plan on playing, Jurassic Park the Game and Guardians of the Galaxy the Telltale series, you subscribe and you, you'll be able to see those. As well as you can go into my playlist history, and I did Minecraft Story Mode and Batman the Telltale series. If you're in for more of Telltale. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, etc. Or ideas, leave those in the description box below. I will always look at that stuff. And if you could share this on all social media platforms. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Any of that stuff. You getting my popularity out will help me push more videos. And I'm actually trying to hit 120 subscribers. So that would be kind of, you know, it's kind of a big milestone. And I'm one away. So your help would be a big contribution to the Domination Channel. In the next episode, we're gonna finally get Mr. Arthur McFly, our granddaddy, to come down the stairs and give you that subpoena! I don't know why I said it's so weird. But hopefully we'll give him that subpoena and hopefully Tannen will be mad at us for the rest of our lives. Then again, the McFlys, it seems the McFlys, the Browns, and the Tannen is always, uh, I'm doing a weird motion with my hands, but they're always interlocked in history somehow. How, I don't know. Uh, this video is going on Thursday, so I will see you tomorrow for part 5 on Friday. I will probably do part 6 and 7 on Saturday, New Year's Eve. So tomorrow we'll start the New Year's special. Also, at this time, I am currently recording Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them in Lego Dimensions. Stay tuned for that when I start uploading those. I hope to see you guys 
in the video tomorrow. Me, Mr. McFly, and both versions of Doc Brown. We'll see you tomorrow in the next video, and enjoy your day.